This is the finished product of the animation effect that we'll be creating in this tutorial. It's a continuous wave loop animation. In Flash 8, CS3, CS4, CS4, whatever Flash version you're using. Let's get to it. Hello everybody. In this Flash tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an animated wave effect. It's a continuous wave and it's a loop animation and I haven't seen this anywhere so I'm gonna deliver it to the web for free to everyone so follow along so we'll press uh, flash action script 3 project it doesn't matter if you're in action script 2 or action script 3 or if you're in flash 8 or flash uh, 9 or 10 CS3 CS4 it doesn't matter this is just an animated timeline technique so let's go to the dimensions I'm gonna change my dimensions uh, let me show you first what I clicked on. I go down here to the properties inspector and I click on size and I change my dimensions to 300. You can make yours whatever you want and the wave can be any size you want. I'm going to make my height 200 with 300. Press OK and let's change the frame rate down here. I could have changed it in the settings panel but I'm going to show you how to change it here and we'll change it to 24 so we have a nice smooth animation okay now let's go ahead and draw grab the pen tool and we have a a black stroke two point of uh, point two five so on stage you grab the uh, you don't grab but you you select one time or you click down and then you go to the other state side of the stage and you click again and you hold down this time. This time you pull while you're holding and this is how the pen tool works. You can make any shapes you want. So you click down and you hold and you pull while you're holding and you can make any shape you want. So you make an arc and then you go to the other side try to meet up at about the same parallel level and then click again and it makes an arc to match it and we'll go up just or down just a little bit with our mouse and press and and click down again and then we'll go back to the middle and we'll do that same technique underneath click down and hold and pull match up the arc let go come over here click down and it matches the arc then click to meet the point and now you have a full closed up shape custom shape and that's how you make custom shapes with the pen tool um, let's see uh, now we're going to give it a fill so you highlight it and press the arrow tool then I highlighted it I go down to fill color and let's give it a fill of blue now with that let's move it down a little be about the middle now we can take the symbol and get rid of the stroke now it has no stroke now we're gonna double click inside of it the drawing symbol and you'll see when you click it now it has a bunch of dots little white dots on it you press control C control shift V to paste in place so we copied and pasted in place now I'm gonna take the new one that we pasted down and match it up to the end of of the other one there and I'm gonna go into about 400 or 800 so I can make sure I get a really tight match on these uh, edges here so if I s as I bring it in with my mouse you can see it's not going to meet up there's going to be an overlap there or one edge is higher than the other so you click the mouse sub selection tool then when you click on that object you can select the edges now you select that one edge and move with your mouse uh, arrows up and down so now you can see how I'm closing the gap or, or changing the, uh, the height difference there and that's it now I'm going to hit the regular selection tool and move it towards the other one until they touch now right there it's touching looks like we have a little edge here which uh, we can get rid of well, maybe not Nah, it shouldn't affect anything, it's so small. But 
uh, normally you would want it really really smooth and matched up really nice okay so once you have that we'll double click back and go to the main scene out of the symbol and now right click the symbol convert it to a movie clip name it whatever you want press OK and uh, now what you can do is double click it, go inside of it, convert that to a symbol too, make it another movie clip. This way we can animate it. Press OK. Now we'll go out to frame 25 or frame 30. That sounds good. And then we'll, uh, on frame 30 you highlight it and press F6 to create a keyframe. So it puts this same uh, object on stage in two different positions now you uh, right click in the middle somewhere and create motion tween now with the other you, you have your start position here then your end position to the animation is here so let's go ahead and drag it to where it's going to meet so it'll do its loop you want it to meet up just about perfectly and we don't want it to have a difference in its uh, Y position so we're going to check this one has a Y position of 0 this one has a Y position of minus 9 so let's get that to 0 there now let's see if it matches up we might have to move the position to about right there now let's press F12 to render out and there it is nice beautiful smooth wavy line that's continuous looping and this is great for advertisements little banners and uh, I show you another trick here with it double click outside go to the main scene take it put it uh, go down to filters add a filter of blur high quality blur and blur it out now render out by pressing F12 look how pretty that is yeah so you put a little border on that some words zooming in and out you get a beautiful advertisement there for flash and I'll even show you I'll put a rectangle on top give it a border real quick get that black no fill make it about four just so it covers everything and there it is. Now your advertisement has a border. Nice flash animation back there. You can put several of those going. Okay, and that's it. I hope you find that useful, and we'll see you next lesson.